Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. We welcome you all once again to today's session. And inshallah, today's session is going to be about futur. And by futur, what we mean uh, is that break is breaking fast. Breaking fast or breakfast. The word futur can go for the food itself or the action of breaking fast. So we have al futur one, al futur. And then we have al fatur. And then we have al-iftar. Al-iftar, which is very popular, everybody uses it. So just to add to us, we have one with the um, fau here having fatha, which is al-fatur. And then we have al-futur. And then we have al-iftar, which is from aftara. Say aftar as saimu the one fasting has broken his fast. Okay, so we are going to see some terms relating to fasting and order. It says talab to Talab to min abi wa ummi. Talab to min. I requested from. So you can use it in the present. Atlubu min ke musa adaten. I'm requesting a help from you. Atlubu min ke malen. Atlubu min ke malen. I'm requesting money from you. you can say it that way. Atlubu min ke al afu. Atlubu min ke al af. I'm requesting a pardon. I'm seeking pardon from you. Seeking pardon from you. So you can use the talab to mean in that way. That is the past. You can bring it to atlubu min. Okay. So, talab to mean abi wa ummi. I requested from my father and mother. An asuma yawman to fast a day. Min Ramadan. In Ramadan. I requested from my father and mother to fast a day in Ramadan. That is, I sought permission from them, kind of. And asuma yawman fi Ramadan. Now, asuma here would have been asumu. But because of the and, it has now taken fatah at the end here, made it asuma. So we have asuma yawman fi Ramadan. Fast a day in Ramadan. Faqala abi, and my father said, Faqala abi, my father said, Innaka sagirun da'ifun. Um, surely, innaka, verily, you are small, sagirun, da'ifun, weak. So you are small or you are young or you are little and weak. Okay. La tasbiru ala al-ju'i wal-atash. You cannot be patient over hunger, al-ju'u, hunger, wal-atash, and test. You cannot stand them. Okay, so it is like saying la tastati an tasbira al ju'i wal atash. But then in this style of speaking, you don't need the tastati. When you say la tasbir, it 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 just covers everything. La tasbir al ju'i wal atash. You cannot be patient over um, hunger and thirst. Say so, sagirun and da'ifun here. Sagirun, the opposite of it is kabirun. Sagir kabir. And then we have um, da'if. The opposite of it is qawi. Da'if, as we have in the Hadith, Al-Mu'min Al-Qawi, Khayrun Min Al-Mu'min Al-Da'if. The strong believer is better than the weak believer. So the opposite of the reverse are brought together in the Hadith. Okay. So it says, Waqalat Ummi, and my mother said, Waqalat Ummi, my mother said, Hazihi Ayyamu Saifin, these are the days of summer. What she's trying to say is that they are in the summertime and the, the, the weather is hot was so fiha shadidun and fasting as so is the verbal now for sama to fast as so is fasting it says was so fiha shadidun is severe fasting in it i in the days of summer is severe shadidun is severe fasting in the days of summer is severe so is be patient is be hatta Takuna ayya mushita'in. Be patient until hatta. Takuna ayya mushita'in. Until it is the days of winter, where everything is a bit cool. So hatta here also made takun, the verb end in fatha, would have been takunu. Takunu. But because of hatta, it made it. So hatta and an. As we have here, they both make a present tense verb end in the accusative case. 
and in this case the verb is singular so it ends in fata the sign of it being accusative is fata okay it says the boy now says wala kidney and wala kidney is just like wala kidney just that some is shorter and one is longer wala kidney bakaitu but i cried bakaitu from baka baka the verbal noun of it is buka buka which is crying Walakini bakaitu, but I cried. Wakultu, and said, and I said. Qad sama Mahmudun. Mahmud had fasted or had observed the fast. Here, Mahmud is the doer of the action, and so Mahmud. Let's note it. It ends in Dhamma two Dhamma Dhammatain. That is the narration. It has two vowels, which is uh, Dhamma. The most important attention we want to put here is that it ends in Dhamma because it is the one doing the action of Sama. Qad Sama Mahmudun. So we say it is the Fa'il. Fa'il. It is the Dua. Okay. Wa huwa fi sinni. And he is in my age. Fi sinni. Literally we say in my age. But the meaning of it is he is of my age. Wa huwa fi sinni. He is of my age. He is of my age. That is, we are of the same age. So, again, Mahmud here is the dua, and the dua in Arabic language always end in the nominative case. Nominative case has a lot of signs, but the basic one we are picking now is Dhamma. Dhamma shows that a verb is in the nominative case, and the likelihood of it being a dua in a sentence. So we have a lot of positions that if a word stands in. It takes either nominative case or accusative case or genitive case or juicive case. Now the case of the dua in a sentence is nominative, which we call in Arabic as marfu'un. Marfu'un. Okay, let's take note of that. Waqad sama Ismailu. We realize that Ismail also ends in the Dhamma. So Sama Ismail also observed the fasting. Wahua asgaru minni, and he is younger than me. Wahua asgaru minni, he is younger than me. Wahua asgaru minni. Walimaza antaziru ana, and why should I wait? Walimaza antaziru ana, why should I wait? Okay, okay, okay. He says asgaru here. Asgaru here becomes the. Okay, okay. Asgaru becomes the. Uh, comparative form from Sagir Asgaru that means smaller as compared to small Sagir small so well, who Asgaru mean he's smaller to me or he's, he's younger than me but he fasted Walimaza antaziru ana and why should I wait Walimaza why and why antaziru wait ana I so the ana he brought again here is for emphasis Walimaza antaziru ana. It's like saying, and why should I wait my I myself? It's an emphasis. It's a way of you could have simply said Walimaza antaziru. Okay, but the ana he brought is a kind of emphasis that is uh, used in the language. Wakat raaitu Mahmudan, and I saw Mahmudan. Now let's note that here the Mahmud we have we had first ended in Dhamma. Now here Mahmud is ending in Fatha. So wakat raaitu Mahmudan. And I saw Mahmud. Here, Mahmud is the object in the sentence. Is the object in the sentence. By the object, in Arabic we say it. he is the maf'oolun bihi. He is the maf'oolun bihi. So because ra'aytu, I saw. What I saw is the object. Ra'aytu Mahmudan. I saw Mahmud. I had seen Mahmud. As he said here, waqad ra'aytu Mahmudan. And I had seen Mahmud. Lamma sama. When he fasted, or when he observed the fast, Labisa, he wore Libasan, a dress, Jadidan, new. Labisa, Libasan, Jadidan, he wore a new dress. Ayo. Was soon at Lahu, and it was prepared for him. What was prepared? At Ima. At Ima is the plural of Ta'am. Was soon at Lahu, at Imatun, Lazizatun. <coughs> and sweet or delicious food were prepared for him. Suni'at is from the verb sonar. It is the passive voice of sonar. 
Now, when we say sona a to manufacture to produce, so a company that manufactures or a manufacturing company industry, we call it masna masna mim fatha swad scone non fatha ein masna. That is a manufacture where manufacturing takes place. So we can call it a company, an industry, or manufacturing company. You can put it in that case. So we say was soon at Lehu at Imatun Ladizatun delicious foods were man were preferred prepared for him. Wakadama Lehu Akaribuhu his relatives Akarib as we've seen before. Akarib upon as we've seen before is relatives the singular of it is qarib qarib is relative aqarib is relatives so he says wa qaddama lahu aqaribuhu ay wa a'tahu aqaribuhu his relative gave him or presented to him qaddama lahu presented to him hadaya hadaya we have here is the plural of hadiya gift so hadaya means gifts Wajawa is Jawa is the plural of Jaiza reward. So Wakadamalahu Akaribuhu his relative presented to him Hadaya gifts Wajawa is and rewards. Wajitama Nasun Kathirun and a lot of people guarded. Nasun people Kathirun plenty. A lot of people Ejitama guarded. And a lot of people guarded. Wakana Mahmudun. Lahu sharf. This sentence can be put as Wakena li Mahmudin sharf. Wakena li Mahmudin sharf. But here he chose a different style. Wakena Mahmudun lahu sharf. And Mahmud had honor. So because he fasted, people gave him gifts and people gathered around him. He had some honor. Sharf is honor. Okay. Or dignity. It says Kullun. Each one. Among those who got it, kullun, each of them, yatahadasu, yatahadasu, to, to converse, talk, to exchange, to chat. Kullu yatahadasu ma'ahu. Each one is talking to him, talking with him, chatting with him. That is how it goes. Kullun yatahadasu ma'ahu. Each one of them is chatting with him. Wa yuqarribuhu ilayhi. Qarraba is to bring something close. Qarraba. To bring something close. So if I say Karibuhu Ilayya, bring him close to me. Karibuhu Ilayya. Karibha Ilayya. Bring her close to me. Okay. It says what you karibuhu ilayhi. And they bring him, each one of them is bringing the Mahmud close to him himself. Okay. Wakat Sami itu Anna al Walada. And I have heard that. Sami itu I heard. وَقَدْ سَمِيْتُ And I had heard أَنَّ الْوَلَدَ That a boy أَنَّ الْوَلَدَ الصَّغِيرِ That a small boy إِذَا صَامَ If he fasts كَانَ لِوَالِدَيْهِ الْأَجْرُ The reward is for his parents الْوَالِدَيْهِ is two parents father and mother كَانَ لِوَالِدَيْهِ الْأَجْرُ The reward is is for his parents what tawabu and the uh, blessings for his parents wa uhibbu an yanala and i i love or i wish and i or i want that yanala abi wa ummi my father and mother obtain uhibbu an yanala yanala nala the verb is nala to obtain as we have in the quran lan tanalu al birra hatta tunfiqu mimma tuhibbu you will not obtain piety until you spend of what you love. Okay. Tanalu here is from the same verb nala. Nala to obtain. So he says, an yanala abi. Now yanala is also ending in fatha here because of an, as we've seen before. Uhibbu an yanala abi wa ummi. I want that my father and mother obtain al ajra wa thawa, the reward and the blessings. Okay. Wa qabila abi. And my father agreed. Qabila to agree. So you can say du'aitu wa qabiltu ad-daw. I was called and I agreed or I responded or I accepted. Qabila to accept. Wa qabila abi. My father agreed or accepted. 
Waradiyet Ummi and my mother was pleased with it. Waradiyet can be accepted, can be pleased, as we have in the verse again. Al yoma akmal tulakum dinakum. Wa atma al yoma akmal tulakum dinakum. Waradi tulakum al Islam adina. Oh, al yoma akmal tulakum dinakum. If I remember right, wa atmam tu alaykum ni mati. Waradi tulakum al Islam adina. Waradi tu. Waradi tu. That's the same verse. Waradi tulakum al Islam adina. And I'm pleased with Islam for you as a religion. That's how the verse came. Waradi tu. Waradi yet ummi. And my mother was pleased with it. Wadat ummi. And my mother called as the Qa'i, my friends. Wa atrabi and my colleagues. Atrab is age mates. Okay. The singular is Tirb. And then Atrab is the plural. We have in Makamat al Hariri, just in the first Makama, in the book Makamat al Hariri, in the first Makama, the first story that he brought, he says uh, somewhere in the lines, Wa an atni. Al matrabatu and al atrab and atni something has put me far. Al matrabatu poverty, poverty has put me far. And al atrab from my colleagues, my friends, my age mates. So what that ummi as the qa'i wa atrabi. My mother called my friends and my colleagues or my age mates. Lisuhur for as suhur. As suhur is the last food one eats before dawn before dawn breaks li suhur mai she called my my colleagues my friends to take the dawn food that we eat in the fasting with me fabatu batu is from the verb bata because there are plenty and it's past tense it came batu they slept fi baiti in my house or they spent the night fi baiti we say bata to mean to spend the night or to sleep as in one of the imam shafi sayings he says abitu abitu present tense of bata abitu saharana duja i stay i spend my night staying staying awake throughout the dark what abitu who and you spend it no man sleeping and you wish after that to be like me first i don't sleep at night you sleep at night you wish to be like me so bata is going through the night whether by sleeping or by but it's used when we say bata it can be nama he is asleep bata can be the way you spend your night or going through the night so but of about to and they slept in my house Wafi sa at rabi ati and at four o'clock. Wafi sa at rabi ati and at four o'clock. Filay at night in the night. Iste kazana, iste kazana, iste kazana. We woke up. Iste kazana, we woke up. Wakad demet again our verb as we saw above. Wakad demalehu akaribuhu hadaya wajawais. We have the verb again. Wakad demet. Ummi ta'aman lazizan and my mother presented a delicious food ta'aman lazizan a delicious food office at rabi at and at four o'clock filay in the night now he's talking about four o'clock a.m four o'clock a.m that's what he's talking about it's the cousin we woke up waqaddamat ummi ta'aman lazizan and my mother presented a delicious food for a kelna and we ate was shabina and we got satisfied shabina is to be satisfied so if you say shabi into i i got satisfied i'm satisfied wanimna and we slept wanimna qalilan and we slept a little wanimna qalilan we slept a little was the kazuna li salat subh and we woke up li salat subh for the dawn prayer we woke, we slept a little and woke up for the dawn prayer. Wafin Nahari and in the afternoon, Aradat Ummi, my mother wanted and Tashgulani. She wanted to get me busy. Aradat Ummi and Tashgulani. She wanted to get me busy. Fala Adkurul Jua so that I don't remember. Fala Adkurul Jua so that I don't remember. Hunger. 
wal atash and test so that I don't remember the hunger and the test fa amaratni so she ordered me be ashgalin with some duties fa amaratni she ordered me be ashgalin ashgal is the plural plural of shugul work fa amaratni be ashgalin with some duties laysa fiha ta'bun there is without stress duties that do not have stress laysa fiha ta'bun it does not have stress or tire is not tiring wa kuntu fi shughulin he has brought the singular here for us wa kuntu fi shughulin and i was in this in attacks wa hadithin and conversation hadith conversation ma al asdiqa with the friends wal atrab and colleagues hatta in tasaf al nahar if we say in tasaf for something to come to its middle point hatta in tasaf al nahar until the afternoon came to the middle point that is until it got to mid afternoon hatta in tasaf al nahar until it got to mid afternoon wa ma sha'artu and i didn't feel bijuin i didn't feel hunger wala atashin or test i didn't feel hunger or test up to afternoon that is mid mid afternoon wa fi zuhira and zuhira here is the word for the mid afternoon in tasaf al nahar is when the day comes to the middle in tasaf al nahar nahar is the day in the whole in tasaf to come to its middle and the middle is what we call as zuhira that is the mid afternoon so we have somewhere like 12 o'clock 12:30 okay wa fi zuhira sha'artu bi zama'in and in mid afternoon sha'artu bi zama'in i felt test i felt severe test wa harrin and heat sha'artu bi zama'in wa harrin i felt severe test and heat fagtasaltu so i bathed fa dhahaba anni if we say dhahaba an to go away from dhahaba anni azzama'u the test went away from me dhahaba anni azzama'u the test went away from me wastarahtu and i relaxed wastarahtu i relaxed okay wa fil asri wa fil asri during asr asr is around 3:30 that is late afternoon if i should put it that way late afternoon around 3:30 wa fil asri sha'artu i felt bil i felt hunger wa ra'aytu and i saw wa ra'aytu and i saw at imatan food or meals wa thimaran and fruit wa fawaqih wa thimaran that is um, produce any produce plant produce wa fawaqih and fruit specifically so thimar and fawaqih mostly are used both to to refer to fruit okay wa qala li ahad al asdiqa and one of the friends ahad al asdiqa one of the friends qala li said to me la ba'sa an ta'kula shay'an la ba's no problem la ba's is used a lot like when you do something and somebody somebody hurts you and the person is trying to apologize and then you say la ba's that is no problem la ba's okay la ba's an ta'kula shay'an there is no problem if you should eat something la ba's an ta'kula shay'an if you should eat something wala yarak al an ahad and nan will see you now wala yarak al an ahad and nan will see you now wa qad akaltu aidan and I, i had also eaten lamma kuntu sa'iman when i was fasting i had also eat, eaten when i was fasting lamma kuntu sa'iman qultu i said na'am yes la yarani huna ahad nan will see me here la yarani huna ahad nan will see me here walakin allah but god yarani sees me walakin allah yarani but god sees me wa sakata sadiqi sakata to keep quiet wa sakata sadiqi and my friend kept quiet wa sabartu ala aljo and i i was patient or i observed patience over the hunger wa sabartu ala aljo wa qabla al-ghurubi 
We say gurub, we mean sunset. Waqabla al gurubi. And before sunset, hadara asdiqa'u abi. And before sunset, my father's friends came, hadara, to come, to be present. Hadara asdiqa'u abi. My father's um, friends came. Wa aqaribuhu. And his aqaribuna. And our relatives. Wa nukila li futuru. Nukila li futuru. Now here we see that it's the food itself. And the food was moved or was brought. Was transported. The nukila from naqala. To move something. To transport something. So wa nukila li futuru. Ila al masjid. So means of transport, means of transport, transportation. We say wasa ilin nakl, wasa ilin nakl, transportation or means of transport. So it's wanukil al futur il al masjid, and the food was transported to the masjid. Wakan al waktu shadidan, and the time was severe alayya upon me. Wakan al waktu shadidan alayya, the time was severe upon me, was hard upon me. Fakuntu ar muku. Al Muazzina, and I was watching on the Muazzin, the one to say the Azan. Wa Udu and I was counting the minutes. Dakika is minute. Wa Udu and I was counting the minutes. The plural, the singular of it is Dakika, minute. Falemma Azana Falemma Azana And when the Azan was said after to I broke my fast that is I ate something Bitamratin I broke my fast Bitamratin with bait Thumma Akeltu and then I ate Washaribtu and I drank Wakultu and I said Kema al Lemani Abi as my father taught me and then he said the prayer during the fasting time the test has gone at the end of um, fasting the dua we say that is the test has gone and the pressure of fasting has all um, subsided and the reward um, is also confirmed inshallah with God with, if Allah wills Wama akel to to amen, and I never ate any food. A leather min to ami dalikel yo, sweeter than the food of that day. Wama akel to to amen, a leather sweeter min sweeter than to ami dalikel yo, the food of that day. Wama kena yo mun ajmalu, wama kena yo mun ajmala fi hayati min dalikel yo, and there was no day as beautiful as in my life as that day wama kena yawmun ajmala fi hayati min dhalika yawm okay this brings us to the end of this session i uh, hope we benefited a lot and then we will make sure to use the vocabularies we pick from here inshallah till we meet again in the next lesson assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh